I would like to get to know if I could be the kind of girl that you could be down for. What's going on, y'all? Shea Butter Shell here, back at it again with a new video. What's up to all my returning subscribers, all my new subbies? How are y'all? Let's get into this cute, fluffy look. You want to start off with some already stretched out hair. Um, it could be freshly stretched out, old stretched out. It really don't matter because you're going to refresh your hair anyway. I parted my hair into five different sections. Here I'm just figuring out which way I really want my hair to lay or whatever. Starting from the back, I spritz the section with a little water and then I comb out the section a little because it was a little nappy or whatever, a little, little tangled. So I combed out the section and then this step is optional. If your hair is feeling kind of dry, add some type of styling cream. I decided to add my DIY shea butter to give it a little life and then you just start flat twisting. When you're finished with the flat twist, you're going to bantu knot the end of the flat twist to make sure the bantu knot stays in place because sometimes they unravel while you're sleeping. Um, you can always add a bobby pin to make sure it's secured, secured bantu knot. It's all 2018. And then you're just going to repeat this process throughout your whole hair. Spritz your hair with water, comb it out a little bit and then add a styling cream if you need to. And then get to flat twisting. Don't forget to add a bobby pin if you need it to make sure that your bantu knot stays secure. Y'all, like I was so into doing this, like I started doing a corn rope. Y'all see that? Why? Why was I doing a cornrow? Tripping. <laughs> I was on the move. <laughs>
and for this last front section um you're gonna split it in half because it's kind of thick so split it in half and that'll give you your last two and that'll make your five sections So the next morning, face beat, looking like the sun, okay, melanin. But <laughs> to take my twist out, I put a little bit of my OGX coconut milk on my fingertips. I try to gently unravel my twists and bantu knots, but like I low key started to get excited when I was uh, unraveling, cause I was like, ooh, sis, this looks good, sis. So a little background on this style. Um, I mentioned in my beginner's guide to natural hair video, how I saw videos of natural 85 back in the day and just was so in love with her hair and results and stuff. And this hairstyle, it came from the one and only natural 85. And since my hair is longer now these days, I was like, let me try this out and see if my hair will be just as porpentine as natural 85. And then boom, it was. <laughs> so, oh, <crrr. laughs> y'all. <laughs> so, shouts out to Natural 85 for always being my natural hair inspiration. One of the many natural hair inspirations that encouraged me to go natural. She don't even know me, but she truly did encourage me to go natural. And seeing this hairstyle really come to life on my hair now. After all these years of wanting my hair to look as good as hers, it was just like, boom, look at that sis. But that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos, some of my DIYs, some of my chef cooking whipping up in the kitchen. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn that bell on so you know when I post new videos or whatever. Thank y'all so much for watching. Bye. I would like to get to know if I could be the kind of girl that you could be down for. Cause when I look at you, I feel something tells me.